Hey everyone, I'm here at the XS booth at uh, SHOT Show 2017. As you guys know, I have I run XS sights on a lot of my guns. I've been uh, really a big fan of them. Super fast target acquisition and you can stay focused on that front sight. Absolutely excellent for that. Um, however, you guys have some new stuff this year. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? So uh, this year we partnered with uh, Chris USA on their Sphinx SDP. Uh, we uh, have big dots and standard dots available uh, for it with tritium uh, only in the rear. Uh, dot the eye, focus on uh, your front sight, and focus on your target. That's our whole mentality. We make defensive sights. Yeah, and I know a lot of people, when you first put them in their hands, they don't think that you can be accurate with them. But I'm telling you, you get one, even two mags through it, and you understand, okay, here's my point of aim, here's where I need to be focusing on. It, it's a really fast uh, learning process and it, it works really well. So, within 15 yards, uh, you just put your big dot on your target. After 15 yards, you use the top of your front sight. And that's where people run into that disconnect. Mm -hmm. It's just they, they lose the, the thought process. On it. Yeah. And I know a lot of you guys probably think, well, I don't really need a front sight that big or anything because all you do is shoot on a static target on a static range. If you take any sort of force on force classes or classes where you're moving or your target's moving, it is amazing how much having that big front sight really helps in maintaining uh, positive target acquisition, transferring from target to target. Uh, yeah, take some training and you'll realize just how important that is. Uh, also, you oh, just yeah. gotta keep in mind the, the effects of adrenaline. And you lose a lot of motor functions. Um, you're still responsible for that bullet when it leaves the barrel. Yeah. You're not gonna make perfect shots in a defensive situation, but you need to index that front sight and make a semi-responsible shot. Yeah. You wanna hit in the cardiovascular zone. You're not making head shots. Yeah. And also, uh, one thing is, on my shield, like I don't have the uh, tritium in the rear sight, but that's something you guys are working on, yep, correct? We are working on it. Um, we actually just got our first prototypes in, and there are a couple problems with it, so we're going back to the drawing board, but we should have those out around uh, Q2 of this year. Okay, we're, so we're definitely, it hard. awesome. Because uh, again, subcompact guns especially are where I really like having those excess big dots, because I figure if I'm using it, I'm gonna be close in with somebody, and I need to pick up that front sight as fast as possible. Now, again, you guys don't just do handguns, you guys also do rifles. Uh, you guys do like the, the front post for AR-15s, AK-47s. Uh, however, one of the newer things, go on. Um, one of the newer things uh, that I got my hands on recently doing a video for the Haas USMC is their offset sights. And I gotta be honest, at first I wasn't a fan. I felt like it was too low. However, talking to these guys before I turned the camera on, they said, well, have you tried flipping it to the other side? And I had not. So sure enough, they, they put one of these uh, mock-ups in my hands with them on both sides. As soon as I kicked it off to the left, Boom, they were right there exactly where they needed to be. I feel like an idiot that I didn't think to try that myself because you know, standard operation seems to be having them off to the right. Um, but rifle sights as well, you guys are also working on some more stuff as far as the offset as well. Yep, yep. Uh, we're actually, we're looking at making some raised options too. Uh, okay. Just some competition shooters like what they want. And yeah, yeah it's, uh, it, what, it's what works best for them. Sure. And if they're winning matches, well, you know what? We're going to make it for you and we're going to make it how it, it fits your needs the best. Yeah. And one of the big things that I've really appreciated about XS Sites is their customer service. Uh, a while back, I got some sights for my Glock 43. I took them to a gunsmith. He was installing them, over torqued the front bolt, and it just sheared right off. So uh, I, I, I wasn't exactly sure what to expect. I'd never had to call XS before. Uh, called in, immediately I was talking to a person who treated me like a person. And uh, after some of the other customer service experience experiences I've had, it was a breath of fresh air to be dealing with some people who understood what was going on, made me feel listened to, all the regular stuff you expect. And uh, I could not have been more uh, happy with the experience I got talking to customer service. And to me, that says a lot about a company. It's easy to you know, talk how great you are when your products are going well, but if you, uh, on my end, totally my fault that that thing broke, the fact that they were able to help me out and hook me up as a customer, I really, really appreciated that. Um, so I have no hesitation recommending XS Sites. Again, a great product, great company, great customer service. I was even working an event a year and a half ago and one of the XS guys helped me pick up brass. And that's a good way to become my friend really quick <laughs> is to help me pick up brass. Um, so again, big fan of your products. Thanks for talking to us. No problem. And uh, if they want to know more, where can they find out more? All right, go to XSSites.com, okay. messages on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Whatever you guys need. Uh, I monitor all the, the social media channels. 
um, just give us a call. We have two dedicated customer service guys, and then our, our engineer actually heads up the phones uh, when those guys are slammed. So yeah. no call centers on our end. <laughs> yeah, so I'll, I'll have all the links below again. Definitely check out their stuff. They have a huge line of products for just about anything you can want. Uh, again, thanks for talking to us, and uh, we'll see more from SHOT Show 2017.